Hi everybody, I am Patrick from Just Got Played and we're in the middle of our US tour and tell me where we're at exactly, Chad. We're at Game Empire, Pasadena, California. Located at 1795 East Colorado Boulevard, right where the Rose Parade goes right in front of our store every year and we have to shut down for that. Um, so we're at the corner of Colorado and Allen in Pasadena. You ought to have a sit-in where you invite everybody to come in and then lock the doors and everybody has to stay. Uh, it's a fire hazard, but other than, that, <laughs> other than that, it's a fire hazard. This store is absolutely incredible. I highly recommend you to come in. How many square feet about is this? We're over 6,000 square feet. And how many butts in seats in your playing area? We can get uh, 34 by 6 foot tables averaging 4 to 6 players each. So about a, we, we've got over 120 chairs and we've run out of chairs. Okay. So, yeah. That's awesome. So yeah. make sure you get here early and stay as long as you want. The, uh, the gaming area definitely would lend itself towards events, and you do have different events like every single night, right, Chad? Yes. We run daily events. Sometimes we run multiple events on the same day. Um, we run RPGs with Dungeons & Dragons Adventure League. Starfinder is big, the new Pathfinder thing. Shadow of the Demon Lord's going on behind me right now. A lot of other games as well. Miniatures, everything from 40K. Age of Sigmar, Infinity, the Skirmish, Star Wars with Imperial Assault, Legion, everybody's jumping up and down about that, X-Wing miniatures. Plus all the historical miniatures, which is my favorite, so we run a lot of Flames of War, huge Flames of War, big crowds for both version 3 and version 4, and Team Yankee is hot now, Saga, Blood and Plunder, the pirate game's about to hit, so we've got And we have the largest Blood Bowl League in the United States with 42 coaches coming down once a week playing games on our pitch. Wow, and there's lot, tons of great terrain on these walls back here if you want to come in and just take a look at those. I highly recommend that as well. Now, if I'm here and I'm playing for a long period of time, because you guys are open, how late are you open? 11 p.m. And what time, what time do you open usually? In 10 in the morning. 10, uh, 10 wow. to 11 p.m., yes. That's some of the best hours I've ever heard in some of the game shops. But if I'm here all day and I want to just pop out real quick and grab something to eat someplace local, what's close by that seems everybody, that everybody seems to like? Well, across the street is my, one of my favorite places, British Pub, Lucky Baldwin's, mentioned on the Big Bang Theory. Uh, we also have Panda Express, Chick-fil-A, uh, Big Mama's Pizza is great. We've got a Taco Bell down the street, Tommy's up the street. Subway, I mean, you've got a lot of choices here. Just pulling up, I noticed there's a bunch of little just franchise places, but I didn't even see Lucky Baldwin's, but lots of places to eat too. So I'm sure that helps a lot on tournament days. Oh, yeah. Now, what, what is your opinion on the games that you guys are selling the most and that's hitting the tables most here in Pasadena? It varies. I mean, you have your staples like Dungeons & Dragons, Warhammer 40K. We have a lot of smaller games that are real popular here as well. The new uh, L5R, which went from AEG to Fantasy Flight Games, huge, huge lines. People lining up waiting for that. Now you mentioned Fifth Edition, Dungeons and Dragons. That your guys are selling a lot of role playing stuff. Lots of role playing stuff. Yeah. Not very common in other places. Maybe a little in Fort Lauderdale, but most other places aren't doing a lot of RPGs. And you welcome those guys in. I mean, there's a table right here packed full of RPG players. That, that's BattleTech over there. Demons of the Shadow Lord over there. Yeah, we really encourage that. We carry a lot of lines. We, w we want the role players to come in here, they're, they're, we, yeah, whatever it is, we, we have big RPG days, two Saturdays a month where the store's packed. In, la in fact, a couple weeks ago we had an event where there were nine tables going all at once in one game, and that was only in one store because there were four stores running the same game at the same time, they're all talking to each other. So if one, ta one team succeeded in something, they would then grant a blessing to another table in another store. And it was a big, yeah. super fun, simultaneous event. Oh, that sounds really cool. Yeah, yeah, that was a blast. And you do have an affiliate store. My a, brother's store. A brother's store. store, a sister store. Yep, down in San Diego. Brother store. Brother store, not a sister <laughs> store. Brother store in San Diego, Game Empire. My little brother built that years and years ago. And um, I finally practiced. I practiced off for about 20 years, decided it was time to semi-retire. And so I said, well, help me build this store up here. And we did, and it's been awesome ever since. This place is absolutely amazing looking. I, I normally don't go into this kind of detail on the show, but I do want to ask you one question. The artwork on the walls here, and I'm gonna, if there's gonna be a little picture in picture video, so make sure you guys watch that too. The artwork on the walls here look absolutely fantastic. There's a little story behind that. Yeah, we had a guy come in, we're in LA, so we're filled with all kinds of media type people, you know, movie stars and producers. Real like, media type people, not me. Yeah, <laughs> and so one of the guys that came in, uh, 
turns out he's a Disney Imagineer. He's one of these guys that, that works on the on Disney Disneyland and all of that. And he was between jobs and he, he volunteered to work and we worked a deal out and he spent about a year decorating the store and it is gorgeous. And then just as he was about to finish, there's one last thing he was supposed to do. He got called off to go work on Disney China and so I haven't seen him for, uh, since. So that just opened. So the store is, I'm very proud of that. It's, it's a very beautiful part of the store. It's gorgeous. There's lots and lots of inventory. Do you have a game library where people can kind of just borrow something and get it to a table? A little right bit. A small library over there. I mean, you do say a little bit, but there's probably 50 games over there. Yeah. yeah. Two there's, cases. Yeah. There's probably 50 games in their little library, and that's, as we've seen across the country, not so bad. I mean, some of the biggest ones are 100 games, except for at the Cloak and Blaster, but some of the biggest game stores have 100 games at the most, so their little one is 50. It's really not bad at all. <laughs> this is Chad. This is Chuck. I'm Patrick. Thank you very much for watching Just Got Played.
The Manhattan Project, Energy Empire, number one engine builder of all time. Harness the Earth's resources. An instant classic for worker placement games. Develop your economy. Manage your environmental impact. The number three game of 2016. On sale now at MinionGames.com.